Welcome back to another Transformers Rescue Bots Academy Season 2 episode review. Today we're taking a look at one of the last episodes of the series, Griffin Rock Rocks. In this episode, Medex wants to go see his favorite music artist who will be performing in Griffin Rock, but he can't go because he needs to stay hidden and there's too great a risk of an out of town concert goer discovering him. When we start this episode, it looks like Whirl is working on some circuitry when some kind of noise disturbs her. What is that? Sounds like scraplets have gotten into the air vents. Nice. I like that Whirl referenced scraplets in this episode. So the other recruits try and find the source of the noise. Hey, I'm getting bloops, beeps, and whoop whoops. Yeah, a rhythmic beat. Has the bass just dropped? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that killed me. So they eventually find that it's coming from Maddox's lab. Maddox! Okay, I love everything about this scene. I mean, everything from Medic's boogieing to the sick beats that he's listening to. Seriously, if this was any more awesome, I think Medic's might replace Whirl as my favorite rescue bot recruit. What? Uh, who am I kidding? Nobody can beat Whirl. But Medic's is definitely winning some points with me early on in this episode. So, Medic's is really into this human DJ called DJ Mechmaster, who wears a helmet to conceal his identity, similar to Dead Mouse or Daft Punk but probably closer to the former. And as we'll learn by the end of the episode, there's more to him than meets the eye. So as it turns out, DJ Mechmaster is coming to Griffin Rock, and Maddox would love to go see him live, but unfortunately, with so many out-of-towners coming from across the country, the risk of the rescue bots being discovered is too high, and Maddox can't go. But fortunately for him, the recruits will get to monitor the show remotely. When we see some of the crowd attending DJ Mechmaster's concert, we can spot some familiar faces. For example, there's former tech thief Miles. But where's his brother Evan? Oh, we'll see him later on. And isn't that Frankie? But who's that little girl she's holding the hand of? That isn't her daughter, is it? What has she and Cody been up to? Hmm, after doing some research, I think that this could actually be Cece, Frankie's younger sister. I haven't seen her yet in the original Rescue Bots cartoon, other than this one clip where apparently they pull a Honey I Blew Up the Kid. So I guess I'll wait to find out more about her. But it's pretty cute to see the two of them together here. Oh, and in another shot, we can see Finn from the episode X Marks the Bot. And we can spot Jerry in yet another. And isn't that the news anchor from the Rescue Teens episode? Man, it seems like almost everyone is turning out for this concert. So, with DJ Mechmaster's barge being damaged, the recruits are forced to assist him underwater as not to be seen. And I gotta say, I love the music in this scene. I mean, I thought the music Maddox was dancing to earlier in this episode was pretty good, but the music here really slaps. Seriously, can I get a clean version of this song? I'd love to use it for my outro music or something. So the recruits fix the barge, but they find that they are missing DJ Mechmaster himself. They soon discover him stuck on a buoy, but they are forced to reveal themselves in order to rescue him. But fortunately for them, DJ Mechmaster already knows who they are, because his true identity is that of Mayor Lusky. I did not see that coming. Wait, now the mayor's into dance music too? Ugh. I kind of get the feeling. Having the mayor not only be into the same music, but actually the creator of it, is kind of like having your dad listen to the same music as you do. It just kind of makes it less cool by association. But I will give it to Mayor Lusky. He does know how to drop a sick beat. But how does he find time to be both the mayor of Griffin Rock and DJ Mechmaster? And finally, in lieu of his light show and big screen, 
The recruits helped DJ Mechmaster put on a show by using their power off and energize tools in ways I've never seen them use them before. This is a real blast. And we end the episode with Heatwave and Chuck shaking their robo booties. Not a word about this, Chuck. Not a word. Oh man, where do I begin with this episode? Like I said, I love the music in it. I want to get a soundtrack of just this episode. I also liked how well the recruits worked together to fix the barge. It really shows how far they've come in their training. And I think the bot stack they do might even be a callback to their cheerleading episode, Go Team Go. One minor flaw I found in this episode was the fact that Medix is listening to his music through headphones. But the other recruits can still hear it from down the hall. Isn't the whole point of headphones that only you can hear your music without disturbing others? But still, I loved this episode. Definitely one of my favorites in the series. I just wish it came earlier. Imagine all the times we could have referenced Medix's love of dance music in previous episodes. Oh well, let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And join me next time for another Transformers Rescue Bots Academy review.